Alright everyone, welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring here, where, uh, you know, other than exploring some more, like, there's definitely something here that we could explore. Uh, uh you know, maybe we should, actually. Maybe we should explore this area just a bit. I feel like there's quite a few things here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, go here, and we'll go up and uh, explore this area. I was going to say we could do Necron, but I think let's explore first, and then maybe we do Necron when I get back from vacation. So this is going to be the last episode um, before... Uh, excuse me. And that's pointing to that that we've already done. Okay. Um... This will be the last episode that we do before I take a long hiatus from recording of at least Elden Ring and preparation for my vacation. Um, really excited about the vacation. Like I said, it's uh, going to be going to the Redwoods and exploring the Redwoods and the California coast, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited about that, but I need to get the channel all in preparation, so I've been recording a lot, so I won't be able to see comments and things like that until I get back, so whatever you guys do say, I will um, definitely take into consideration, and uh, we'll work on when I get back, so it, if you comment on like the fourth episode, or I, I don't know what episode's out today, but if you comment on one of those episodes, it'll be quite some time before I can actually take any of what you said into consideration. Sadly. Um. Trina's Lily. Of course. What is he summoning? Uh, take this. Um, oh. Okay, let's take this. And then... Yeah, this guy's gonna be dead in no time. What an easy boss. And we need to give this stuff to our one guy, but... That was good enough. We destroyed him. That's gonna give us... Yeah, death root. Skeletal bandit ashes. Those are cool. Wonder if they're any good. Probably not. We need to just get the Mimic, which I think we get from Necron. Um, I should look into how to get the Mimic properly so we don't miss it, but... It's alright. If we do, we do. It's whatever. Our wolves are good enough to help us. Um, back to exploring. Whatever we were exploring here. I don't want to miss too much, although we are missing pretty much everything already. But yeah, this is going to be the last episode, so... And in this recording session. Um, which... By the time you guys see this episode, I will already be back. Um, so I'll definitely see, like, the comments on this episode. And I'll probably see the comments on, like... Uh... Well, you know, the last two days, three days. Um, I'm going to see the comments on all of them. But I can't take it into consideration for the next episode. Is what I'm trying to say. Because I'll, I'll watch the comments and I'll reply. I try to reply daily. Uh, every morning I wake up and I check check YouTube and see what's going on. See what's been said. And then I try to reply within uh, the next... However long it's been since you guys commented. But... I, I try to do that daily. Um. But sometimes I do miss a day if I just forget to get on YouTube. Especially, like, if I'm busy with work and stuff. Um, 
like last couple weeks ago I was super busy and I didn't uh, post anything. I was also kind of trying to wait for the rebrand to post things, but all in all, like, I just uh, got way too busy, and so I wasn't able to post anything. Um, and so I wasn't really responding to comments, wasn't really doing anything like I should, and uh, just kind of let the channel do its own thing for a second, but everything's back now, everything's better. Um, we need to figure out where to get more smithing stones at, so if you guys know where to get more smithing stones, let me know. It's definitely something that we need to get. We don't have enough of. Um, we are auto saving real quick. How do we get down from here safely? I would really like to know. Can I do this? And do this and then this yes I can all right cool so now we're down safely where are we at like on the map uh, okay land squirt ashes that's cool I don't think I've ever gotten that before that's cool I doubt they're any good Except for, like, very niche use cases. Um, oh, and there's a thing here. This is cool. I've had to have gotten this one before in my last playthrough. I just don't recall it. Um, and the only reason I say that is I'm going towards this, and I've been there before. Because um, you have to do something there for something. I don't recall. Is this uh, the thing for Ronnie, or is this something else? I don't. I don't remember what we had to go up here to the top for. I think it is a Ronnie thing, and you put in the um, hourglass and like you flip it upside down, and then the whole thing turns on you. Something like that. Maybe this isn't the right place. Maybe this is something else. No, this is it. So I don't know how I got down last time. And yeah, you put it like right there. And you flip it and this whole place turns upside down. We're going to go in here and uh, I'm going to rest real quick. But we're going to go in here. We're going to take on the enemy in here. He's a absolute menace. Um, and he actually, my first time playing um, with my mage build, he completely destroyed me. And I have an inkling that he's going to destroy me now too. Just because he spawns so far away. But if he doesn't spawn far away, because I actually don't remember, he doesn't, okay, um, I probably have a chance to beat him. Maybe I don't. Alright. Oh, okay. What? I didn't see the bow. Dang it, man. Where's he at now? All the way up there? Okay. Let's go to him. Damn it, man. Yes, I can survive all of this. Okay, where's he at? Okay, let's uh, make sure that we kill all of these guys. I don't know where he went, but I don't want anything coming and ruining our day. Even though I think we'll be fine. Okay, let's continue on. I don't know where he went. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Of course. Of course. How am I supposed to beat him? Yeah, how do I beat him? Because I can't even get to him. What in the world? Let's just take everyone on. Ouch. What a nuisance, man. Okay, good. Yep. Okay. Come on, just walk a little faster, you nincompoop. Yeah, I knew that was going to hit me because... Why not? Okay, now let's take you guys on. There we go. Everyone's taken care of except for you now. Yeah, I don't have anything that can hurt him. So what do I do? I mean, I guess maybe I can try like throwing daggers or something. I guess that's the way to do it. I'll take it. Magic downpour. Alright, now we can climb this and grab whatever's on top. There's also rats up here, but that's alright. What does that matter? We're stronger than the rats as long as they don't knock us off. Actually, those rats are pretty strong. That's a little wild. Um, here's the ladder right here. This is what I wanted. Because we just want whatever item was up at the top. And then we're done with this place. And I'll just teleport out of here. I don't even remember what this is. Is it something stupid like a rune arc? Probably. I hate that. I really need to figure out what rune arcs are. Oh no, Cerulean Seed Talisman. I think that's actually something really good. Uh, Alright. And we do have to refight that guy later. Um, when we flip the whole place over, he does respawn. I think. I don't know if he respawns if you killed him. Because I didn't kill him the last time. Uh, as my mage, the first time. Um... What is that? Huh. 
Huh. What is that? Let's go see. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to get down there either. Oh. Uh, okay, what is that? That's three. Which I think this is three. Um, yeah, and it's over this direction anyway, so. Let's go see what that is, because I'm very unsure. Today's gonna be a busy day for me, too. Um, I'm gonna record these two. And then I have a bunch of housework to do, so I'm gonna do a bunch of housework, and then I think when I'm done with the housework, I'm going to, um, stream a whole bunch of, uh, Guild Wars 2. We have, um, officially made it to level 80. So that's cool. Um... And so now we can officially finally beat uh, Core Tyria. And then we will work on... I've never been here. What is this place? Hopefully it's worth something, this place. I have a feeling that we're going to be fighting the jars here. It's called Jarberg. Yeah, there's some jars right there. <laughs> oh, these aren't enemies, though. Is this really a safe place? There's no way. Hello? Are you safe? Wow. Okay. Not at all what I expected. I expected to die here, actually. One second. Alright. You know, so we uh, changed the snake substrate in the uh, cage here. And before I changed the substrate and I added the new hides, the snake was actually, like, out and about a lot, which is very strange, and it's why I wanted to make the change. Um, I haven't seen the snake since. Uh, she's pretty much just stayed in the big hide that I put in there. And actually, on the cool side, too. Um, I think later today, if I don't see her, I am going to check on her uh, by lifting the hide and just kind of checking her out, see if she's moving, breathing, and stuff. Um, just because it's been a little bit, but it, it, it's okay to not see them. They are supposed to be. Hello, Cos. What are you doing here? I didn't think anyone knew about this place. Except us jars. Ah. Are you going to be the new potentate? Gosh. It's not easy being potentate, though. I know. It's just a little test, Cos. Mm. Your skin... You need slick, slidey hands to be put. I'm sorry, cuz. What a shame. Don't look so... We well, can still chat. Come back and visit me. Hmm. Okay. Um... What was I saying about the snake? Yeah, uh, I just want to check on her. It's okay because they're, like, no nocturnal. Uh, not really nocturnal. There's a certain word for it, but it's mostly nocturnal. Um, so they rummage around at, like, uh, dusk, um, and that's, so I won't normally see any activity, but I haven't seen 
any at all, and usually I see some. And I just want to check in on her, make sure she's okay. She should be, but, you know, just being a worried, uh, worried pet owner, I want to make sure that, you know, my animal is okay, so. Cat's doing great. Cat's annoying. Don't know why I got a cat other than really cool, really nice when it comes up on me and, you know, just gives me attention. It's cool, other than the attention is too much sometimes, and then I don't know what to do with myself. Um, I get angry. Like, leave me alone. I'm trying to do something. But, can't get too angry. It's just because they love you. Or it's because they're needy. It's one of the two. Um. So yeah, there's the animal update. They're all doing great. Uh, I'm gonna check on the snake today, and then I'll give an update on the snake in the next episode, but, um. While I'm on vacation, my grandma's gonna take care of the animals. Uh, snakes are very easy. I'm gonna feed it right before we leave. And then, uh. Ooh. Item. Okay, so we just got a bunch of pots. Okay, so I've never been here, and it was useless. Glad I was never here before. Alright, back to the drawing board. Let's go back here. You know, there is one thing, though, as I did, and maybe I should look, is um, it is using the cold side hide as opposed to the hot side hide that it was in yesterday morning. So, I guess it definitely has moved. So, there. I guess that's a good enough update, right? I'm um, still gonna check, because I haven't seen any action this morning from her, so. Man. Um, just gonna run right through these guys. Nice, neat, and nifty, just like that. That guy's big, that guy's strong. That guy is way too much for me. Okay. Um, Sight of Grace would be very, very nice. I know it's a little bit soon from there, but... Man, would it be nice to just have something around here, because I, I like to have something nearby when I uh, deal with these areas like this. Oh, Painter Shack, and then you, or Artist Shack, and then you just come across here. Okay, that's good enough for me. Then I'll take this on, because it's close enough. And we, we have enough that we can level up, or at least very close to, so I don't want to go in here and just die and lose all of our stuff when we have a level up flame cleanse smoldering butterfly you guys like this guy here an absolute nightmare an absolute unit of an enemy and will end you pretty much instantly so don't really want to fight it um also, did we not aggro it and we walked right in front of it? That's insane. It's a little wild. Huh. Is this a church? It is. Oh. oh, no way. This is where this guy is? Weren't we just talking about this guy a couple episodes ago? How I've never seen him, even though I saw pictures of him on uh, Reddit. What's up, tarnished, dude? Aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Uh, well, I don't that know. That is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, 
that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the capital and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. What a nice guy. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Earth Tree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Mm. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Do we fight Radigan? Beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Cool. Atone. Huh. What do I have to atone for? I'm a perfect paladin knight over here. Alright, is this another Erd tree? Let's go take it on. Why not? Uh, actually, this is why not. Uh, we need to heal up. And level up. Heal up and level up. Level up, level up, level up. Heal up and level up. Level up, level up, level up. Uh, we'll do that many. I think it's going to be just over. Yeah, I probably, well, don't know if 200 less would have worked. 111, was 111 going to work? 111 would have worked perfectly. Shoot. Dang, brother. Would have left us with nine runes. That's alright, 200's nothing. These guys probably give 200. Something like that. Whole group of them gave 100. Okay, never mind. Um. Uh, oh, we can't go to the Erd Tree? Huh. Oh. Well, never mind then. Well then I guess we end it here, and this will be our ending spot right here at this Church of Vows. Um, this will be our ending spot for 
this is the next coming week, I guess. So, yeah. Good little spot to end it, I guess. We learned a lot of lore. But anyways, um, thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll be back, and uh, you guys won't miss a beat, so that's good enough. Hope that you guys are enjoying Elden Ring. Hope that uh, you guys all have a great week. All right. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.